Hi students, it's Mr. Roderick here right outside the music bunker high atop Mount Clemens. And this is the last video in our series of how to write a song. And for this video, you still need three things. A piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser, and a straight edge so you can draw a staff and make your lines straight and neat. We'll make a song that lasts for eight measures in the treble or bass clef, depending on what your instrument is. And let's get started right now. Now, if you're going to write a song for an instrument that plays pitches, as opposed to a percussion or non-pitched instrument, you have to have some skills. Here's what you need to know. Staff, treble clef, and bass clef, and the names of the notes in the treble and bass clefs. You need to know what these things are and how to draw them. We already know about time signatures, bar lines, and measures. So let's start by talking about staff. A long time ago, when people in the European culture started writing down music, they used a thing called nooms. Nooms were used by monks way back in ancient history so that they could sing Gregorian chants. You know what Gregorian chants sound like, right? showed basically how the notes went up and down and if they were long or short and kind of what to sing. Pretty soon though the monks and everybody else started adding other voices and instruments to the music so they needed a way to show higher and lower notes. They started drawing lines. As things got more complex they added more and more lines. They started naming the notes using a musical alphabet C D E F G A B C my understanding is they eventually had 11 lines to show all the high and low notes needed. That was too complex. So they did a couple of things. They erased one of the middle lines, although it's still there. You just have to draw it if you want a note on it. And they put the letters of certain notes that were important right on the line where it went. Three important notes were what we now call middle C because it's right in the middle of the staff and the G above middle C and the F below middle C. You now call that G a treble clef. It even looks like a G, doesn't it? Because it comes from an old fashioned G. And the F or bass clef, it looks like a kind of a backwards F, except they put dots instead of the crossbar. They put dots right on the bass clef F line. The treble clef is for higher notes, and the bass clef is for lower notes. And now we have two five-line staffs with notes on the lines and the spaces. And we have one treble clef staff for high notes, and one bass clef staff for low notes. When we put the treble and bass clef together, we call it the Grand Staff. The lines of the Trouble Club Staff are Every Good Boy Does Fine, or Empty be Garbage Before Dad Flips, or Elephants Got Big Dirty Feet, or Elvis goes bopping down the freeway, or, well, you make up your own sentence. And the spaces in this treble clef staff are easy. They spell F-A-C-E. The bass clef lines are 
Could Boys Do Fine Always? Or Great Big Dogs Fight Animals? And the base clef spaces are All Cars Eat Gas or All Cows Eat Grass. Or you can make up your own sentence. But now it's time to wake up! Just like with your rhythm song, you need to plan your work. Draw your staff, draw your bar lines to create eight measures, draw your treble clef, or if you play trombone or euphonium, bass clef. Remember to put a clef on every single staff. Draw your time signature, but remember there's only one time signature at the beginning of the piece. When you draw your notes, make sure you have the correct number of beats in every measure. Now here are the notes I'd like you to use to write your song for the instrument that you play. Use the first five notes that we learned at the beginning of the year. Flutes and bells, you will use B flat, C, D, E flat, and the top line F. Trumpets and clarinets, you will use middle C, D, E, F, and G. Alto sax. You get to use the second line G, A, B, C, and D. And trombone and euphonium. I forgot to write euphonium. You will use bass clef B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. If I were you, I'd use quarter notes and rests, half notes and rests, whole notes and rests. I would definitely find a way to create patterns in your song. Repeat notes, the measures that are the same, use repeating rhythms, look for ways to make patterns in your song. And I would definitely end your song with note number one, because that's Do. And as we said before, almost all songs end with Do. But the truth is, if you follow the rules of music, I can't complain. Repeats? Why not? More than eight measures? Why not? Eighth notes? How can I complain if you do it correctly? Good luck. Work hard. Don't sweat it. Do your best. And please, show me a picture of your work or a video of you playing your song. That would be awesome. Good luck, kids. I miss you guys. Mm -hmm.